Good morning, students. We have discussed the concept of electric dipole. Now today we will discuss how to find electric field at different points due to an electric dipole. So first case we are taking electric field on axial line of equid uh, of electric dipole. Now first of all, what is axial line? As we know, axis. So axial line uh, that means a line that is lying on the line joining the two charges. Let we are taking consider the two charges that is forming an electric dipole separated by a distance 2a. Now we have to find electric field at axial line or at any point on its axis. So we will consider a point here P that is lying on its axis. Now let this point P be at a distance R from its center. So now see here in the figure that at point P we have to find the effect of both the charges as point as charge at point A that is minus Q. Now due to this charge electric field will be directed towards this charge represented by E1. Why? Because when charge is negative electric field lines are directed towards the charge. Similarly with the uh, when we are taking the effect of plus Q charge or we have to find electric field due to plus Q charge at B. Now from the positive charge electric field lines are directed outward. So electric field is directed along this direction that is away from B. So this is the concept we have understood in terms of direction. Now we will find the value of E1 and E2 1 by 1. So now come. Here we are observing that E1, E1 is the electric field at P due to minus Q charge. That is charge you can see in your figure that minus Q is a charge at point A. Now you can just see in your figure that distance between A and P, this distance between A and P like this distance is A because O is the midpoint and this distance is R. So when you have to find electric field due to minus Q charge at point P, you have to take total distance A P which will be equal to R plus A. So now electric field E1 will be Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into A P square. Here A P square is R plus A or A plus R. So you can write it as A plus R square. Now this is the magnitude of electric field at P due to minus Q charge. Again we are not including the negative sign. Why? Because negative sign is helping us to find the direction of electric field. Now you can see in the figure electric field that will be directed along P A. You can see in the figure, this is from P to A. P to A. Now, coming to electric field E2, its magnitude and direction. So now E2 is the electric field at P due to plus Q charge. So E2 will be given by Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. Distance will be BP square. Now what is BP? Coming to the figure again. B P. This total distance is R. This is A. Now the remaining distance this will be R minus A. Again this is R. This is A. The remaining distance will be R minus A. So here its direction is from B to P. So here coming to the formula. E2 is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught B P square where Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught as such and the value of BP will be R minus A square. And direction I have already discussed, this is along BP, away from positive charge. Now see, in this both the formulas, if you will observe that out of E1 and E2, which is greater? As E is inversely proportional to distance square, in both the formulas rest all the Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught is common. So see here R minus A this is less than R plus A obviously when we are subtracting something from R that will be less when we, uh, when we will add something to R 
So R minus A will be less than R plus A. So this E2 factor, this will be more. Why? Because denominator is less. So that's why magnitude of E2 will be greater than E1. So now, on this basis, we have to find net electric field. If one, well, one value, one factor E2 is greater than E1, the net electric field will be along the direction which will have more value. That means if E2 is greater than E1, the net electric field will be E2 minus E1. Why? Because E2 is greater than E1. Now substitute the values of E2 and E1. So E2 is from the formula E2 is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R minus A square. So you will put this value and E1 is Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R plus A square. So when you will substitute these values here in the formula E2 E1. Taking the common factors Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught bracket. In the bracket you will write 1 by R minus A square minus 1 by R plus A square. Now, when you are taking q by 4 pi epsilon naught common and this term in the bracket, now do the calculations by taking LCM. So, when you will take LCM, this will be q by 4 pi epsilon naught as such. LCM will be r minus a square, r plus a square. So, when you will take it, the LCM will be r square minus a square whole square. So, now solve it. Here, it will be r plus a square minus r minus a square. When you will do it by yourself, then you will get better understanding of this concept because this is simple LCM. Now, put the formula A plus B square, A minus B square, R square plus A square plus 2RA minus, using the minus sign along with R square minus R square minus A square minus minus plus 2RA. So, now in the next step, R square will cancel out a square will also cancel out. What will be left? 2RA, 2RA that is 4RA. So what will be the electric field? Q by 4 pi epsilon naught 4RA upon R square minus A square square. So hence now you have completed almost the value of electric field. Now we will rearrange it. You can split 4RA as 2A into 2R. Why? Why we are doing it? We are doing it because dipole moment having formula Q into 2A. So we can replace it by P into 2R. Divide by 4 pi epsilon naught R square minus A square square. So this is the magnitude. Now what will be the direction of net electric field? Net electric field will be along the factor whose value is greater whose magnitude is greater. As you have seen, E2 was greater than E1. So what was the direction of E2? That was from B to P. So that's why net electric field will be along B to P. So this is the final result. When you have to take electric field on axial point, axial point or axial line of electric dipole, so you have to find up to this point. Sometimes numericals you can solve directly from this formula. So you must note this formula in your record. Now we will discuss special case. As we have taken separation between the charges is two-way dipole length. If that is very small, if dipole length is very small as compared to the distance of point of measurement from the center. That means if R is very large as compared to two-way. So, in that particular case, mathematically, if 2a is less, then its square will also be very small. So, here a square will be ignored. So, what you will get? 2pr divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r raised to the power 4. When you are taking r raised to the power 4. Now, cancelling r, you are getting 2p upon 4 pi epsilon naught r q. So, in fact, Q, 2A distance and 4 pi epsilon naught. These all are constant. Electric field is varying inversely proportional to RQ. So this is the conclusion you are drawing from this derivation. 
see this derivation is important sometimes direct derivation can be asked so you have to practice it step by step now next derivation we will do that to find electric field on equatorial line of an electric dipole so here what is equatorial line basically equatorial line is a line which is perpendicular to axial line and passing through center of axial line that means if a and b are the position of minus q and plus q charge that is forming electric dipole and here o is the midpoint of this line so this is axial line and equatorial line this is po this is perpendicular to this axial line and bisecting or this is passing through its midpoint now we have to find electric field at point p distant r from center of electric dipole so first of all let we understand its basic uh, assumptions basic uh, specifications of symbols a b that is distance is 2a o is the center then o a a o will be equal to b o that will be a the point where we have to find electric field that is at a distance r from the center so then p o will be r now in triangle a b p not uh, a b p you have to take here a p o this should be a o p not b this is a o p now in this triangle a p square will be equal to a o square plus p o square a o square plus p o square by Pythagoras theorem then a p square will be equal to a square plus r square then what will be the measurement of a p this will be under root of a square plus r square and see this point a p and b p both will be at equal distance so a p and b p both will be equal to under root of a square plus r square so these are the distances we have find now we will find electric field at p first of all due to minus q charge at a so here electric field as magnitude of electric field will be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a p square this distance a p so here now you can see that what will be the direction of electric field due to minus q charge you can just understand it being charged being negative so electric field lines will be directed toward this negative charge so direction will be from p to a so you can take it as e1 is along p a now substitute the value of a p you will get here a square plus r square instead of a p so value will be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus r square along p a now electric field at p due to plus q charge at b here in the figure plus q is at b so in that particular case here again magnitude pb this will be a square plus r square under the root so now magnitude of electric field e2 will be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught bp square on substituting the value of bp this will be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus r square now what will be the direction of e2 see this is positive charge so electric field lines will be directed away so it is along this particular direction b to p that's why i have written here b p now you can see here here magnitude of e1 and e2 are equal only change of direction is there so you can take it as e1 e2 can be written as e now coming to the figure again here this is e1 this is e2 if this angle is theta then this will also be theta alternate angle and if this is theta this will also be theta now correspondingly if we will take the resolution of vector here so if this e1 will be resolved so e1 will be resolved this component will be you can just recognize you can just uh, recall the terms which we have done in uh, resolution this component will be e1 cos theta along the 
horizontal angle is with the horizontal this component will be e1 cos theta and uh, this component will be e1 sin theta perpendicular component is e1 sin theta similarly this vector is e2 the horizontal component of this will be e2 cos theta and perpendicular component will be e2 sin theta so now on resolving we are obtaining that e1 cos theta and e2 cos theta are both acting along the horizontal and e1 sin theta and e2 sin theta are acting along perpendicular direction there here theta is same for both and magnitude of e1 and e2 are equal so e1 sin theta downward e2 sin theta upward so these two components will cancel out each other this will cancel out. Why? Because magnitude of E1 and E2 is equal. And angle theta is also same. So what is left here? Only horizontal component. E1 cos theta and E2 cos theta. So coming here. Here what we have explained. This is written here. Resolve E1, E2 along perpendicular components. E1 cos theta along Px dash. And E1 sin theta along Po e2 cos theta along px dash and e2 sin theta along pr. Now here these sin theta components will cancel out. So the resultant electric field is only due to cos component e1 cos theta and e2 cos theta. So let their sum is represented by e dash magnitude. So now being E1 and E2 are equal in magnitude. So we are replacing it by symbol E as we have taken in this. So now here E dash will come out to be 2E cos theta. So now E value you will put from the formula 2 into Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught A square plus R square into cos theta. So what is the value of this cos theta? Come again in this triangle A O P. Here cos theta base upon hypotenuse. Base A O. Hypotenuse A P. So A O will be A and hypotenuse under root of A square plus R square. See here. Now put this value of cos theta in the above equation. You can number it as 1. Put this value of cos theta in this equation 1. So E dash will be 2Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught A square plus R square into cos theta value A upon under root of A square plus R square. Under root can be taken as power 1 by 2. So again Q into 2A. This is dipole moment. 4 pi epsilon naught. This is multiplied by A square plus R square raised to the power 1 plus 1 by 2, 3 by 2. So, this is the magnitude, this is the formula which you have to learn. Why? To find electric field on equatorial line of an electric dipole. This is only the magnitude. If we have to find direction also of electric field E dash. So, here see in the figure, as net electric field is along Px dash, dipole moment is from minus Q to plus Q. So, dipole moment is along this direction. You can take it as positive x-axis. And electric field, net electric field is in opposite direction. So, it means dipole moment and electric field that are in the opposite direction. So, angle between them can be 180 degree. These are pointing in opposite direction. So, how this direction can be depicted in the formula. So, now come here. E dash is taken as minus P. Vector sign for the direction upon 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus r square raised to the power 3 by 2 where negative sign indicate that electric field E and dipole moment are in opposite direction. Now as if we take again one special case where the length of electric dipole is very small as compared to the distance of point from which it is measured. That means if 2a is less than r. So coming to the formula here. In this case here if 
r square is very large and a square will be very small why because a is less than r so square will be also very small we will ignore here a square so if a square will be ignored from here what will be left r square raised to the power 3 by 2 2 will be cancelled out what will be remaining r raised to the power 3 so here e dash will be given by p upon 4 pi epsilon not r q this is a special case when size of electric dipole is very small as compared to point of measurement. So now for this particular point there can be the question derive an expression for electric field due to an electric dipole uh, on ele equatorial line of an electric dipole. I am repeating there can be the question derive electric field on equatorial line of electric dipole. This is the simplest form. Now there can be one question in which axial and equatorial line concept has asked together how let me recall the concept the result of axial line electric field at axial point is given by 2 p by 4 pi epsilon not r cube under special case we have taken equatorial point electric field is given by p upon 4 pi epsilon not r cube so now from these you can see the result that electric field at axial line is twice the electric field at equatorial line. So this is also one point that can be asked. Establish relationship between electric field at axial point and at equatorial point. Or prove that electric field at axial line is twice to that of electric field at equatorial line of an electric dipole. Now revise these two derivations by giving writing practice in your practice notebook twice. It will give you confidence that how to solve step by step. So now solve these thoroughly and keeping in view the main focus should be on the directions of electric fields. So thank you. Have a nice day.